Well, hello everybody. I hope you guys are doing great this evening. This is Mary at Yard Art R Us. I'm gonna just do a little bit of painting and I'm going to do a little, uh, oh, a little God Bless America truck. I hope you guys are doing well. Today's not been a too shabby of a day. I have uh, done all sorts of things, including take a nap, y'all. Hey, Myra, how are you? And Laura's with us. Hey, Debbie, how are you? So, y'all, I have a, I took two naps today, so I'm raring to go. I've been taking naps lately. I don't know, I think I've uh, been burning the candle at both ends, and y'all, it's hot out there. And so when I take a nap, I have to get up and kind of move around and wake up. <laughs> and so I took some naps and I'm all like, now I'm probably going to be up till midnight, but that's okay. And I don't know if it's y'all where you're at, but here, y'all, it is hot. Like, I don't know. I'm kind of thinking this is not good because it's this hot and it's not even, but what? May? No, it's not even the end of May. This is not good, y'all. So I'm painting the God Bless America truck. We actually had this blank from last year, but we never did a live over it. And to be honest, I don't really know why, other than it might have been an oopsie daisy we forgot. That's very possible. So I'm gonna paint him tonight and hang out with y'all. So tell me, are y'all just stay, hanging out at home and trying to beat the heat? Or one thing I did do something this afternoon is make some vacation plans. So if y'all going on vacation any, anytime soon, tell me where you're going. I'm going to Arkansas and to Missouri, I think, and to Branson. Uh, we've had two trips get canceled in the last couple of years so that were supposed to go abroad. And so I just thought, nope, getting in a vehicle myself. I'm not trying to get on a plane. I ain't trying to have anything else uh, canceled. So hot and humid. It is, and I don't know. It's like, y'all, I'm getting to be kind of afraid. If it's this hot this quick, what the heck are we gonna do when it's really hot, like in July and August here in Texas? July and August are just like, I don't know. You just think, why do I live here? So um, I haven't said anything to Bruce, y'all, but I'm not talking into, let's go into, um, wouldn't mind going to Oregon come July and August. Get beat the heat a little bit. We've been to Oregon a couple of times, been to Northern California, it's really pretty there. And um, we've been hitting it really hard here around the shop and doing lots and lots of work. So I feel confident that this summer we can kind of like go do a little bit of playing. Since y'all know how it is with the way things have been in this, in, well, worldwide, I'm saying this country, but everywhere, how you haven't gotten to travel much. Uh, it was hot here in Arkansas today. Last I checked, it was 95. And see, I'm headed to Arkansas next weekend. We're headed your way, Laura. We're actually gonna be in Eureka Springs. I'm hoping it gets a little cooler then. Uh, we're gonna be in Eureka Springs uh, for four or five days, I think. And um, I was hoping it's gonna be cooler, but what you're saying, it's not. It, tech, I love Texas too, uh, Myra, but you know what? It is, it's, it's entirely too hot here. It really, it, it just, it kind of like, it just makes you think, what the heck am I doing living here? Although this is the only place I was ever, I've ever lived. You know, I was born and raised here and I love Texas, don't get me wrong, but the heat is just, it's insane. It is just like crazy. So I'm taking some shading red and I'm just doing some shading on the right, I'm kind of outside of this truck, and then I'll come in over here and get it a little bit of definition between the tailgate and the back of the hood, or the back of the truck. We never did a live on this guy last year, and I thought we really need to, because I think he's simple, but he's really cute. And for 4th of July, summertime's coming. And for those of you that follow us quite a bit, y'all have heard us say that we're going to go to cutting blanks on demand. And so now I did get in there today and I know this is a little early, but if you decide you want Christmas blanks, I did fix all that. You can now order Christmas blanks even if we don't have any in stock because we're little by little, we're moving all of our blanks over to that program. But it takes a while to go into our, um, database and do all that work but I did do Christmas today so 
You can order Christmas blanks even if we don't have any in stock. It'll let you order. You just have to give us a week or two to get them cut. But I think if you're ordering Christmas, you should have plenty of time to let me cut them. <laughs> it may be a little cooler. I think we're supposed to have cooler temps, but it may be okay. Oh, you're in the Fort Smith area. You know, we were just looking earlier. Um, we just booked a hotel in Texarkana because uh, we're going to go do some stuff in Rusk and Palestine, Texas before we head that way. So we had to do some stuff. Uh, we had to book a hotel in Texarkana. We just got through doing that just now. And um, I tell you what, it's hot here and they say that it's kind of that way everywhere. And so maybe they're right, maybe that's what's happening. But man, I, I'm over that and y'all, it hadn't even really got hot quite yet. All right, so I need, a, I need to do some shading on this. And this is a number 24 gray. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take some black. And I'm going to squirt some black in there. There we go. And um, I have to put some water in here. Now y'all can see behind me those uh, porch greeters. For those of you that want porch greeters, we have the patriotic ones in stock now. I did the tutorial in the academy, so I won't be doing it in painters in the making. But um, we do sell the blank, and if that's something. It snowed in Colorado. What the heck? Why am I not in Colorado? When we, the last time we were in Oregon, it was in the summer, and we took sweaters, y'all, and we still had to stop at a store and buy hoodies because we were in the evening. We were pretty doggone chilly. You know what? We didn't complain. We said if we need a hoodie to stay warm in uh, the summertime, we just went and bought one and had a good time anyway. I want to order one of your Christmas trucks with the lights. I'm saving up to do that. I know that's right. Well, you know, I think we just put some of those in stock the other day. Or it might have been yesterday because he's been feverishly cutting. And this is the time of year it might sound kind of weird, but believe it or not, I didn't paint this license plate, y'all, so I got to paint this license plate. Uh, he, my license plate can't be gray if my bumper is gray. Um, but this time of year, we hit it really hard, and we have been painting all kinds of stuff, and he has been cutting all kinds of stuff, because if you don't do that right now, then when, for us, when the fall hits, there's no way you're going to get your stock out there the way you need it to be. And so we have been doing lots and lots of cutting, lots and lots and lots of painting, and part of it too, even though y'all... I gripe about the Texas heat, I really do, but I, I will say that heat, we spend a lot of time in the summer out there in the heat because we may do like 150 trees and you start putting trees out there and they're going to dry within 15, 20 minutes because it is so hot and you can't do that in, in uh, even October if that's not going to happen. So even though I complain about the heat, we really do use it to our advantage. So, um, it's kind of a double-edged sword. We use it, but we still gripe about it, if that makes sense. But, you know, one thing I have been doing uh, the last couple of years is, you know, you tell yourself anything you have to do. So, I tell myself this about the heat, y'all. While I'm in the house and I need to go out there and I look outside and I see how hot it is, I say, I'll even say to Bruce, I'll say it. Hey, look, God just gave us our own oven for free. It's outside. It's baking our yard art. It's just great when you look at it that way. And Bruce just kind of rolls his eyes. But that's the way I look at it sometimes. I just have to tell myself, God's given me an oven. I'm not paying any energy bills to get it going. And my yard art is out there drying very quickly. That is if I don't have a heat stroke when I'm out there. Uncle Sam says he will be here Tuesday. Good. Yes, because we shipped that out, Amy. I forgot to tell you that. Uh, both sides of the family, you need to, you need to visit. Well, you know, y'all, we probably work a lot more than what maybe people realize, and that's part of just owning a business. But I will say, the one thing that we do is ever so often we get in the vehicle and we just go wherever we want to go. Not, I mean, we don't do that every day. But a lot of times we will get in the vehicle and just go. And we've been blessed to have a nice vehicle. And then he and I take turns driving. 
and we just took it around, you know, like we're going to Arkansas. We're going to be there for three or four days. Then we're headed to Missouri. And then uh, we don't have to be at home at a certain time, you know. So if um, we find anything interesting, we just take off and go. That's what we do. Uh, now, I love that Uncle Sam. Isn't it cool? Yes, the truck behind me. Mm -hmm. uh, that's actually attached to a base right now for a paint party. But yes, that's the truck. That's the truck. And so um, I told Bruce, one time we were headed to New York. Uh, well, y'all, this is a true story, but it's kind of crazy. We got on a plane and we flew. We were going to New York for a specific uh, graduation ceremony. We stopped and had a layover in Chicago, Chicago O'Hare. And our flight got canceled. And so we had to rent a car and we drove from Chicago to New York. And of course it was in the middle of the night, we had to rent a car, you know, we were very frustrated. Cause you know, you're not, you're not planning on that. And since it was a graduation ceremony, we had to be there at a certain time. And, um, but I will say, we got in the car, drove all night, got to New York, did the graduation and all that. And then of course we had to drive back. But on the way from Chicago to New York, I, we drove by Cedar Point in Sandusky, Ohio, and, uh, or the turnoff for it. And I told Bruce, can we please go to Cedar Point? I always wanted to go to Cedar Point. He's like, we can't go to Cedar Point. We're going to New York. We, we don't have time. It's like, no, no, no. Can we go to Cedar Point, you know, on the way back? And Cedar Point is like home to huge, huge, huge roller coasters. I don't know. There's like 20 of them. And so we left New York a day early, went to Cedar Point, and you all know, have to say it's probably one of the best vacations we've ever had. But uh, you're gonna attach it to the base for outside, Laura? Yeah. We sell it for as a, we're gonna sell it as a blank for, you can buy the blank, Laura, just of the truck, or you can buy the, the blank for the porch reader, which gives you the, the base, the truck, the lights, the vertical pole and then the sign too. I don't know if I have that listed though yet, to be honest. I'm not sure if I got that listed. Hey Sally, how are you? And Rosita's here and Mary Kay. Hey Mary Kay. I don't know if Mary Kay, have you had a chance to pick up your, um, I know you ordered a striped cross and I hope we have contacted you to come and get that. I think you've already come and got it though. Mary Kay lives local, so it's a lot of times she'll just come on up and get her stuff. As soon as we, but y'all, what we've been doing with the blanks now is we email y'all when they're ready. Now, of course, if you order it and we ship it, then we're, you know, we're going to ship it to you as soon as we get it cut. I think that's what Amy did. Amy ordered uh, the Uncle Sam and we shipped that yesterday or today. I can't remember what day, but we shipped it to her. And so she's going to be getting that. Amy, that will come to you. UPS. Yeah, it's take, okay. We don't have it then there yet, Amy. It's coming. Yep, already painted it. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yes, if I have, if I don't have it on the website, it is coming. I promise y'all, I have been doing all kinds of stuff on that website. Well, just the thing of changing all the blanks to cutting on demand and go. It, we have hundreds of blanks, so I have to go into every listing. Just that alone, you know, has been kind of crazy. I like this flag behind this little um, eagle. It's simple, but it's it does the trick. And I'll, I'll just kind of come in here and do some, some uh, brush strokes. So anyway, what I was telling y'all, see how I just kind of go off on my little tangent? We went to Cedar Point and we rode, and one day I think we counted 23, we rode 23 uh, big, huge roller coasters. Every roller coaster that was in the park, we rode it. And y'all, we would have never gotten to Cedar Point and got to ride those roller coasters had our vacation plans not gone crazy. So you gotta, you just have to roll with it is what I've learned. If things don't work out, then just go ahead on and have fun some other kind of way. That's usually what we try to do. And y'all, Bruce is a very good traveling companion because for the most part, like if I say, can we go over here? Can we go over there? Can we stop for ice cream? Can we do this? Can we do that? He really doesn't give me any grief. He's like, well, yeah, I guess so. So that, that's 
really nice. You know, now my dad, when we were kids, he had four girls, and here's what he told us when we got in the car. Sit down, shut up, and hold on. That's that's how our vacations were as kids. Sit down, shut up, and hold on. And he wasn't kidding, y'all. So to go on vacation with my husband is like a dream compared to my dad. He was just like that. I think a lot of men were his age in that, in, in that day and age, you know. So uh, one time we were going from Dallas. His parents used to live up there. It took us like six, I mean, like uh, 10 hours to get home from Dallas. And his parents called and said, why are y'all not home? Why is it taking you 10 hours to get home from Dallas? And we're like, well, we had to stop for ice cream. And we had to go to some zoo that we saw on the way. And then we had to go to this little hay farm. And then we had, so, so, who knows? Who knows how long it's gonna take us to get anywhere. X drove across country until everyone had, had pictures of exit signs and lots of places I'd love to. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Laura says, yes, that's what I want is the pull truck kit. Okay, we'll be putting that on um, probably next week. And I think, I think a lot of people are gonna want that as a porch greeter because we've already had a lot of interest in it. I just haven't got it listed. But I promise it's not because I'm being lazy. It's, it's just because I've got lots of irons in the fire. But I'll, I will get it listed. All right, so I'm going to turn that around. Got my little God Bless America here. Now, I'm just going to outline my tail lights just like this. We're actually leaving on our vacation not this week. Well, we're leaving a week from tomorrow. We're leaving Saturday. I was thinking we were leaving Thursday, but I, I looked at it today. We're leaving a week from tomorrow. So y'all are going to see me in here a lot next week, but you won't see me for a while after that because we're supposed to be gone a week, but you never know. You never know what we're going to do. We don't know what we're going to do, but it's all good. We have a big vehicle and we just kind of pack everything in there. And of course we stay at hotels. And um, wherever we go, that's where we go. I would love to talk him into going to Oregon in June, in July or August. I've been, but I'd, I'd love to go back. I'm just putting a lot of paint there. Now I won't be able to finish my little license plate. It's supposed to have USA right here, y'all. But before I came on, to, I realized I didn't paint the background of it white, so I won't get to paint the USA part. That's okay, y'all get the idea. I'm putting a lot of paint in here. So if you happen to go to our website and you look at the Christmas page, you will now see no little out of order tags on any of those products. Eventually that will be on every collection. It, we've already fixed the spring and uh, spring and summer have been fixed. Christmas, I think Patriotic has been fixed to where you can order if we're out of stock and um, but not everything. We're, next thing I'm going to tackle, y'all, is the Halloween, Thanksgiving, and fall. I'm going to tackle that. All right. And that way, if you want something, you know, as long as you can give us time to cut it, then you'll get it. I think that's a good thing. Now, I'm going to turn this around just so y'all can see it a little better. I have almost everything done except I'm going to wash this out and I'm going to pick up the white. Yeah, Laura, you know, I'm very blessed because um, we've been married since 1985, so I don't know how long that is. I'm not sure. A long time. And um, for the most part, you know, we're like everybody else. We have our moments. But for the most part, um, we, we do really well together. We're just very compatible. And honestly, we just laugh and cut up and act ridiculous and make fun of each other. But that's really what we do driving down the road. <laughs> and listen to music. We like music. So we listen to a lot of music. And um, sometimes just getting in the vehicle, my husband will just kind of start talking. You know, whereas I think when we're so busy here at the house, that, 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 that just that doesn't always happen. And it's really nice because I just kind of sit and listen, you know, whatever he's got to say. And um, so I'm pretty doggone blessed, y'all. I, I have to say, I'm pretty blessed. In that regard. There we go. Now, on these white, I don't bother trying to outline these white stars 
Victoria was over here the other day where I think we we're in the paint party room at the store and she was outlining her stars and I said, Victoria, are you outlining those stars? She's like, yes. I'm like, oh, I'm not outlining that. <laughs> it took too much work. <laughs> so, uh, so the MBO I found is 85 and not prime. That's about the norm, Amy. Uh, ours have the... Uh, well, there's a long story behind that. For years, we got raw MDO, which I liked better. But when COVID hit, we couldn't get that anymore. So raw is non-prime, no, no priming. And um, I really wish we could get that because the hap just so happened the supplier we were getting it from, we really got good MDO. Now it's primed, but it's kind of a pain. Sometimes the, the uh, quality is not quite there, but y'all, I think that's just the nature of a lot of things right now, you know, with everything that's happened in the world. So you just have to go with what you got, but that's probably about right, Amy. Uh, you can always try to use a plywood, but the problem with that is you're not going to get the longevity out of your project. Now, I've told people, there's some people, they just can't find MDO anywhere near them. So I told them if you do that, if you, if you can't find it and you've got to go plywood, then try to get the best grade you can and get some 3M edge sealer on the edges. And you can get the 3M edge sealer like on Amazon. I mean, honestly, if I could not find MDO, I would probably try to go to an aluminum product, but then that's a very high price. But um, I've been in business for a long time, and my, my folks that buy my stuff, they expect their stuff to last 20 years. So, you know, I just, I can't get away with a, you know, a more inexpensive material. Even though I could pass the savings on to the customer, there's just something about the way we do business. People ain't gonna, they don't feel that. They just, man, I think, They'll never say they would rather pay the higher price, but that's what they would do. But yes, trying to find anything. Some, well, thank goodness I'm not the moms that are looking for baby formula. Uh, but there's, you know, it's just the way the world is right now. All right, I'm just putting another a coat on my stars, but I am not outlining those stars, y'all. That is, to me, plenty fine right there. So I'm gonna turn this one around, okay? And then I've got God Bless America right now my uh, CNC bit got a little crazy here so I'm gonna try to just put a little bit of thing here I may have to come back and work on that I'm gonna do some of this right here more highlight here and just notice the white I put on there how good it looks and then on um, my wheels I just kind of do squigglies y'all that's all I do just go back and forth. You get the idea. I'm gonna turn this guy around. God bless America. It's just a really cute, simple truck. It's not, it's not very difficult. What about plow? Okay, let's see. What about plywood for the greeters? Now um, here's the thing, it, your porch greeters, if you are going to have your porch greeter under a covered porch and there's no direct rainfall, I think you can get away with that. But hold on just a second. Um, if you do go plywood, make sure you use the 3M edge sealer. You get it at Amazon, okay? Am I going to break the brake lights red? No, I think I'm going to leave them white. I think I'm going to leave them white. Um, but, so, if you got to go, if your porch greeter is sitting on a porch where there's no direct rain, I think you're going to be fine. But, you know, when we say porch, everybody's porches are different. So, if you're going to be having a porch greeter and it's sitting on the drip line of your roof, and it gets a lot of water and you're using plywood, I'm just gonna tell you now, that's not gonna be good. So it really depends on your application. If you have to go plywood, seal your edges once or twice with the 3M product. And when I say edges, here's what I mean. The water on your plywood is gonna come in through this edge right here, okay? Always aim to use it half inch. If you go quarter inch, it's going to bow on you. Even three eighths is going to bow, so go half inch. Don't go three quarter inch. That's too thick. It's too heavy. It's too clunky. 
So if you go plywood, I would go half inch. I would get the best grade that you can. You only need one good side, but get the best grade that you can. You're going to use this 3M edge sealer and you're gonna go all, once it's dry, after everything is totally dry, you finished your project, you're going to put that edge sealer right on top of that paint. Even in these little crevices, you know, you're just gonna go and I, what I always do when I would do that is I would just put this on a Lazy Susan. Actually, I'd probably put it on two of them. Let me show you. Kind of have it airborne. And you're gonna take this, let's pretend for a minute, you're not gonna use a brush to apply it. This has an applicator on it. So don't use one of your paint brushes because it'll tear it up. But yes, after everything's painted, after everything's dry, pretend this is your applicator. You're just gonna go around and you're gonna put that edge sealer all the way, even in every nook and cranny on these edges. You don't need edge sealer on the face. The water is not gonna penetrate the face because you got so much paint and poly on it, okay? And you don't need edge sealer on the back, right? But where the water's gonna destroy your project, it is gonna come in from these edges. That's where it gets destroyed if you're using something like a plywood. Now, years ago, we used the plywood and we had pretty good luck with it, but y'all gotta remember, that was years ago. And the quality, when we first started, my kids are in their mid to late 30s. So we've been painting 35 years. When we first started, you could go get really good pine, really nice plywood, pine plywood for $5 a sheet. And we didn't even use an edge sealer back then and we could get five, 10 years out of it. But those days are gone. That's not what, that's not the wood that, that's out on the marketplace now. That's just not the way it is. So after everything is totally dry, all that good stuff, you poly it, just right before you stake it, you're gonna put that edge sealer, if you're going plywood, you're gonna put that edge sealer all the way around here on your edges. And then honestly, I probably do two coats. All right, Debbie says, the blank is covered with the CNC, and yeah, and has the pattern etch, yes. Now, um, I think we were talking about porch readers. But for those of you that are gonna be doing your own, y'all know that if you, well, if you're in the academy, you get the porch reader template for free and you get um, the tutorial for free because all of our porch readers will be in the academy. This month I did the Patreon, I did this one. I don't know when I'm gonna do that one, if he's gonna be next month or the month after. I actually have two, uh, so June, July, August and September. For the next four months, the academy will get a um, porch reader every month, a different one the next four months. We've got a witch, a Frankenstein, the red truck, and the, the Santa. Now, anybody can buy the blank. Anybody can make it. Anybody can buy the template and do it. I'm just doing the tutorials in the Academy. And if you're in the Academy, you're going to get a free template. So, and Evan, Evan if the Academy is a um, private paid membership for $27 a month. We just closed it a couple of days ago. And in there, it is really directed toward, um, much more toward, uh, I guess you could say, learning and, and all of that. And you get access to like 40 different videos that we have on everything that you could possibly think about, about your art. I mean, and we'll announce it the next time. It's going to open again at the end of August. So, um, but we will cut the blanks. So for those of you that want to buy the blanks, you can do that. And when you do it, you get the base. Here's a base. You get the piece. You get the lights. You get a vertical pole, and then you get the sign. I'll put this up here. That's what you get when you buy the blank. Now, you don't get the bow, and you don't get the greenery. So if you buy the blank for this, you're going to get everything you see here except for the bow. And if you buy the blank for this, you're going to get everything you see here except for the greenery. We don't include the greenery. I just get greenery wherever I can. I get it at Amazon, Hobby Lobby, wherever you can find it. You know, it's no big deal. And um, so, and don't feel like you have to put a bow on your porch greenery. You don't have to. I did. I had a lot of red, white, blood. Now, for those in the academy, it'll be tomorrow. I'm coming on, and I'm going to show, finish up the tutorial on the Santa pole. With the, it's got the Santa face, and then it's got. North Pole, Reindeer Way, Elk Village. I'm gonna finish all of that tomorrow. I did a lot of that the other day. So, 
thanks for hanging out and uh, I'll be on tomorrow with the Academy and I'll probably be on Painters in the Making tomorrow probably going to be doing a uh, butterfly so we'll see y'all soon y'all take care and thanks for hanging out bye bye